Welcome back guys to our new series, Life is Strange. Yes it is. I don't know what this is about. I just seen it was free, so let's do this. Life is Strange is a story based on base game that features player choices. The consequences of all your game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Man, what is up with the thunderstorms in my games? <laughs> Hello? Wakey, wakey. Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Oh, wow. Well, let's go to the lighthouse. Hey, run. Is that running? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, can I grab that? No. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh. That's not good. What have you gotten yourself into? Oh! Whoa! No! <laughs> well, there goes your way, huh? Oh! That was so surreal. Famously called what? Film, little <laughs> pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I and can't frankly, believe I bullshit. still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Seriously, but I like it old school. Oh, that's like a selfie. We capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Is shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A done word that. for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Hmm. You're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Wow. Is there anybody here We're who knows sure. their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him 
in your textbook, or even online. Oh. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yes, Victoria. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. No matter who wins. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to get out of here. <laughs> I see you, Max. Oh. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I didn't want to interrupt. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Cool, thanks. Look. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'll leave. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Yeah, just getting you you right. Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Of I'm not paying $150 because Max wants everybody, everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point? She plays it so <laughs> sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. So let's go find the bathroom. No, I told you. My She's so fucking shy. The language. <laughs> and I turned down the music guy so I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> Everybody. Mess in person. Where's the bathroom? Let's find the bathroom. I don't feel like talking to anyone. Does that go faster? I guess it is, doesn't it? Excuse me, you just walked in my way. Bathroom. Enter. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh, throw on the throw on the garbage. What's wrong with you? Oh, butterfly. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day.
Ah, photo. Uh, excuse me, this is a f girl bathroom. You don't be walking in it's here. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Whoa. That was a little extreme. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! Whoa. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing whoa, around whoa, with. Where'd you get whoa, that? Whoa. What put are you doing? Down. Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble oh, for this, this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! You just gave yourself up, man. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. How? And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Ring. <laughs> can you give oh, me an example camera. of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy. Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Oh, that would be cool. Why Arvis? Oh, because of her images of hopeless fate. Oh. So cool. <laughs> this, this is a game changer. I did now, it. Whoa. Can you give I me actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time condition machine. in black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her Keep images. Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and When children. I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does exactly again, explosion. I'll know this is for real. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. <laughs> a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture Ooh. has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? Uh, use the bathroom. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, shit. Who knows Jefferson wants to keep me after Lewis class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad things. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again? Oh, yeah. Give him the right answer. Yeah. I wish I could have done that in school. That would have been awesome. Oh, old shit. Oh, cool. Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly won... Yeah, I don't want to hear that again. Uh... Oh, okay. The Daguerrean process. 
invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't Boom. forget the deadline to That's submit a right. photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career <laughs> in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, so don't hide. Far I'm still so waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Let's go. Go. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. I see you, Max Caulfield. Oh, come on. Don't even think about leaving here <laughs> until we talk about your entry. You're wasting time. You need to save that girl. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid... Yeah, I already... I'm not avoiding it. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Uh, press control. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. Oh. I'd never let one of <laughs> photography's future stars of... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Good. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. Let's go, go, go. <laughs> I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Because Max wants everybody okay. to see how hip she is. Oh, that's what I was going to do. When can you? Get to the bathroom. Don't even tease Daniel. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell Whoa. everybody Whoa. Nathan Preston is a punk ass who begs like a language. little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or Whoa. who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? <laughs> what are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. Oh. I'm going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, Holy shit, I can't shit. let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, no, 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 I can no, no, help no. her. Oh. I missed your punk ass would Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Yeah, I saved her. Go. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck oh. is going on? <laughs> Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. 
The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Boom. Ha. Run to cop. <laughs> You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh. Report Nathan, hide the truth. Oh, no. Uh, report Nathan? I just I, saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. Yeah, yeah, so it's hard yeah. for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's Killing bathroom. Drugs, having guns. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do rewind. anything since the Prescott family oh. owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Okay. You look a little stressed. Blah, blah, blah. Hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't I think can't I win. Know what goes on around I don't know. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't Dark think your I parents do. will Dark approve when I they don't. find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. Can I rewind it? No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. No. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. No. Actually. There. Yeah, might as well. I can't live without my conscious. You look a little stressed out. Well, report him. I just saw... Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that'll be a good thing to s time to good time to stop. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> it's a cool little game. If you like it, like it, subscribe, comment that you subscribed, and we will see you next episode. I should, probably should save, huh? Oh, there's no save button. Set it. Exit. Huh? Well, we'll, we'll find out where we'll be next episode. Hopefully it doesn't go back too far. 
All right, guys. I will see you next time. Peace.